Y'all, I'm so tired. I went to sleep at, I think, 11. And it's like almost 5 o'clock in the morning. All right, it is 5.06 and I'm in my gel braids. This is what I got on because um, I work for a company. I don't work for the hospital. So um, I go to different hospitals every day. So depending on the hospital it is, they either have the scrubs there or we sometimes have to wear our own scrubs. Ah. And at, at this hospital I'm going to, which is, I will away, by the way. Um, they have scrubs that we have to put on there. So, I'm just going in a shirt and some tights. And then, I, I'll go in there and I'll change. And get into their surgical scrubs that they have there. Now, this is my, this is my surgical cap that I wear. Um, in the OR because we have to keep our hair out of the way. Um, since I have braids in and I don't have a wig on. I just throw this right over my my braid, so y'all don't judge me. Well, it look like I'm bald head, but who cares? They gonna never know I got braids under here. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna put on my glasses. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me fix myself. Let me fix myself. So these are all the bags that I have for this weekend. <laughs> it's only a basically a two-day trip to orlando but as you can see it's still dark it's almost 6 30. i'm about to check in at the front door and then i got to go in and put on some scrubs in the female locker room and then head to the operating room and set up for the patient um to come in the room so good morning Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I haven't been here in a while. Oh, it's been two, three weeks. <laughs> it just about. It seems like it anyway. I always have this big bag and then a suitcase with me. That's why I carry my system in. And that's why I keep all my little needles and my laptop in. And now I'm going to check and make sure that I have everything. I have my base unit, my laptop, my needles, my laptop charger, my mouse, my documents, and my patients to sign, my system charger, little knickknacks. Um, my stem boxes my motor box then i have all my cords that i need so this is the front door this is what the or looks like here um of course that's anesthesia that's where the patient will be and <clears throat> all the instruments will be on this side and i sit over here in the corner in the corner doing my own little thing over here so yeah now it's time to um set up as much as I can because it looks like the nurse hasn't come in yet to set the bed up. So the most I could do is just plug in my stuff into my system and plug it into the wall and all that good stuff. I'm gonna show y'all what I look like. These are the scrubs that I had to put on in the locker room. I don't think y'all can see me though. Can I see me? <laughs> I got these on my foot. So while I set up, um, in the operating room. I'm gonna explain to y'all just a little bit about what I do. So my official title is a neurophysiologist. Yes, girl, I know it sound real fancy and it sound like I'm a doctor, but I'm not. Um, so I work for a company that um, can train you on the job or you can either get a certificate from uh, certain colleges that offer it as a certificate. So as a neurophysiologist, I basically monitor um, a patient's nervous system before surgery, during surgery, and after surgery. And how I do that is I have these little tiny needles that um, we call electrodes. So um, you can put them on their head and you put them in certain muscles depending on what surgery is being done. You want to monitor certain muscles for that surgery. Um, I'll show you guys uh, the needles later. Um, and also, I have to carry around uh, a system and a computer and all these cords um, that helps me monitor a patient's nervous system 
while they are under anesthesia. Now, um, I work at different hospitals, depending on what surgeon um, would like the services. So I will find out usually the night before what hospital I'll be going to, what the surgery is, um, patient information, and what surgeon I will be working with. So typically um, I work with neurosurgeons and orthopedic surgeons in the operating room. Um, and I also have an oversight physician who are neurologists who are online with me while I'm monitoring this case. So these cases cannot be monitored without a physician, um, a neurologist online to um, basically read the data that I am collecting. So all in all, surgeons will want me there uh, basically to let them know if anything is going wrong. So most of the time, um, everything is going as planned with the surgery, but to double check pretty much to make sure that the surgeon isn't like pinching any nerves or, you know, sacrificing the spine at all so that the patient would not wake up with any type of weakness or any type of um, paralysis. Um, those things they can catch ahead of time uh, by basically having me there in the room. I can see if there's any changes on my computer with that person's uh, nervous system. So my job um, is pretty old, believe it or not. It's just that not a lot of people know about this job. I found out about this job while I was an anesthesia tech working in the OR, so. So this is the final setup of the room. As y'all see, my needles are in place. My motor box is there. We have radiology in here instruments over there so we have all my stuff here so the patient is going to come from the stretcher over there and just lay on the bed once they put them to sleep once anesthesia put them to sleep then i'll just start putting my needles in the patient and then once all that done we come back over here to my computer i just came from seeing the patient i just go to them and introduce myself let them know like what i do and what i'm going to be doing and then I just get their history, if they have any symptoms at all, because their symptoms are going to, it's going to show on um, when I start monitoring, I'm going to see that. So if they have any pain or numbness or weakness, let's say on their left side, I'm going to see that in my data. So I just want to be aware of that before the surgery starts. Um, so now I'm just waiting for the patient to come in the room. I got to wear some tape so that I can secure the needles on the patient. And yeah, I'm gonna start talking to my oversight physician and let them know about the patient's history and just wait for the patient to come in the room. So this here is some live data. Um, the top is running, you really can't tell, but those are SSCPs that are running. Then the bottom we have live EMG. The next screen here we have motors. This is where um, responses are recorded from the muscles. And on the side that you guys will see in a minute is our trainer four. Woo! Woo! I'm off! It is 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. Hey y'all, right. so I am at my destination and I'm getting ready to go out with my friends. Let me show you guys them. Say hey. 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 <laughs> Let me show y'all my outfit really quickly. Look at my friend, y'all. Let me get, it's giving body. It's giving, who you know could do it better. So, oh, it's giving booty. It's, I'm just getting on the curls. Oh this, my it's, goodness. It's the curls for the girl. Oh my oh, God. Period. <laughs> period.
So yeah, hopefully you guys see a little of what I do um, as a neurophysiologist. Yeah, I'm going to end this here. So you guys make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like this kind of um, content or interested in my job, just let me know. Y'all can message me or um, leave it in the comments or whatever if you have any questions about it. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.